Hello everybody. So today we'll be discussing about a particular type of problem uh, which combines both the types of vertical motion. So as you all already discussed, there are two types of vertical motion: upward vertical motion as well as downward vertical motion. Now we'll be discussing a sum where I mean a duta post where you score it. Bolayo a duta ek answer kuma hai sir. So suppose at a condition I mean assume ko idlo at a building hai sir. Tar pora a particular person. He is throwing a ball vertically upward. Okay, he is throwing a ball vertically upward. Let us say he is throwing it with a velocity of three meter per second. Okay, so now there are various stages. Say, a question of can you can you post a video about it? So first of all, I am post this. I am going to use a ball to see the upward to throw. Can I go say that motion to can you go have a he upward the ball open and then you will be returning back and then you will hit the ground. Okay. Now, in this particular stage of motion, we can differentiate these two motion in two different types. A hini part of the motion, jodi upward fall at boise, this is an upward motion. This part of the motion, where it is falling down, this is the downward part of the motion. So, I mean, question of the ki, I mean, situation to deal kori bolai bo. Upward motion, I mean, equations of motion or hitu set a use kori bolai bo. And downward motion, I mean, equations or hitu set a use kori bolai bo. Jodi accordingly, I mean, agar videos or discuss kori silo. Okay. Now. यार की की पॉइंट इंपॉर्टेंट है हेडु सानी बोला है सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जीरो बॉल को ऊपर थ्रो करा गयो से एट अ पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ऑफ ही एट अ पॉइंट रीच करबो एंड तापर ही रिटर्न बैक हो नाउ हे जो तो पॉइंट ऑफ ही रिटर्न करबो स्टार्ट करबो हेडु पॉइंट तार की पॉइंट होबो दैट वुड बी द हाईएस्ट पॉइंट द हाईएस्ट पॉइंट इन द मोशन इज द पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट जो पूरा बॉल को टोल कर रिटर्न जर्नी करबो सो दिस पॉइंट व्हाट इज स्पेशल अबाउट दिस पॉइंट एट द हाईएस्ट पॉइंट बॉल टू की की चेंजेस आहिबो Now zero to ये two point ऊपर आरु ऊपर ले उठी वो पारा रहे माने ये two point उठ बोल पे लेटर velocity तो क्यों जाओ तब velocity तो zero हो जाओ so the most important thing about this particular set of motion is that at this particular point of time the velocity of the body would be zero and from that point the body would start falling downward okay now अमाक question है suppose बहुत दा पार्ट है से question है अमाक first question तो बुढ़ा कोई सर What is the highest point till which the ball can rise? Next, suppose our question would be, sir, what is the time taken to reach the highest point? Third question, sir, suppose our question would be, sir, what is the total time taken to reach the ground? And number four, what is the velocity with which it hits the ground? Okay. Suppose there are four questions. So now we'll be discussing the a kind of point or kind. I mean, question to can we approach? Kori bola gaye. So let us discuss about that thing. Okay. So coming back to the question. So our first question to us is that. What is the highest point? I mean, a point to total distance. So, what is the what is the highest point? Or question, I mean, any kind of you apply it. What is the distance of the point from the roof of the building? Okay. So, how to get that part? So, first of all, in order to get this part, I mean, highest point. I mean, I mean, distance or question would be said. So, I mean, could he need distance or put focus? Could he go like a part of the journey? In this particular part of the journey, he highest point to reach. Could he go? So, I mean, upward journey basic emphasis. Could he go like that? So upward journey का ना अभी G2 कहने का लोगों ने बोला अभी G2 negative लोगों ने बोला। So basically लेकिन the important point हमारे बुरा already खाती बोला है। Now before finding the highest point, let us first find out कि है highest point to reach कोई बोले तक किमान time लगे। So है तो time तो मैं denote कोई सुख की वाले। So first let us find out जो है total time तो तक किमान लगे in order to reach the highest point at that particular point। Okay? Now since ये तो upward motion है, summary equation of motion की होगा v equals to u minus g t Okay, so that will be the equation for our upward journey. Now we already know the highest point to reach. Koi letter ata the velocity to kiya jabo, the velocity to zero hai jabo. So if we substituting v equals to zero, then we will get it as u was already given as three. So three minus g g if we take it as ten, so three minus ten t logo parami. So this would look like three equals to ten t. So your t would be three by ten. So that is zero point three second. 
So that T is nothing but T1. So this is the time taken to reach the highest point. So he to go our second part of question to that is T1. Now in order to find the highest point, when I mean distance to we have so I mean equation you square will be using S equals to U T minus half G T square. Kelly minus because we are still using that first part of the journey which are upward motion to consider what I am going So, here I am substitute to the coedu values would u is how much? The u was given to be 3. So, 3 into 0 0.3 minus half into 10 into 0 0.3 whole square. So, this will give you the total distance. So, it will make one pump. This will be 0 0.9 minus 5 into 0 0.3 whole square. That would be 5 into 0 0.09. So, this would be 0 0.9 minus 0. 4.5 Okay, so how much would that be? 0 0.9 minus 0 0.45 would be 0 0.45 meter. So this is the distance or this is the total highest point distance from the roof of the building that would be 0 0.45 meter. Okay, now we will be approaching towards the next question. Okay, so our next question would have said, what is the total time taken to reach the ground? So already have we gone past the highest point of Kiman distance or 0 0.45 meter. Okay, so Highest point to our ground dollar a k distance over that distance would be the total distance, the distance of the building plus the highest point distance. So that would be 10.45 meter. Okay. Now in order to find out the time taken, okay, for the downward journey, t2 will so t2 will total time to kiman over t2 plus t1 over. Okay, the total time will be given by the time taken to reach the highest point plus the time taken to reach the ground. Okay, so I mean, first of all, downward motion of the journey to consider kori t2 to ulia bolayo. That is a t1 plus t2 kori. We will find out the total time. Okay. So, he t2 to ulia bolayo. Kya ami kundu equation use kori. Since now we are concer concerned about the downward motion, he kaan amar ite zumbur equations over that ami g2 positive lab bolayo. So, if we use the distance equation, it will be equal to any S equals to ut plus half gt square. And a to t equal to t buja as a t2 to buja as a because you are considering the downward part of the journey. Okay, so s to kimano s would be the total distance for the downward journey, so that would be 10.45. Now, what is the u for the downward journey? So, in the first part of the journey, I have already compassed with the z to the highest point to reach course. So, highest point to reach course is the velocity to kimano is 0 and was a he can hit a point of the total line. So, he does 0 what was his final velocity for the upward motion. Downward motion of hey final velocity to give the initial velocity. So for the downward motion, initial velocity to cobra start was zero for start of so your u would be zero. Hence u t2 a good term to zero is so it would be half into 10 into t2 square. Okay, so your t2 square would be given by 2 into 10.45, so that would be 20.90 divided by 10, so that would be 2.01 t square. So that is t2. So t would be approximately 1.414 second. If we find out the root over of 2, that is 1.414, so t would be approximately 1.414 second. Hence, the total time for the ball to reach the ground would be t1 plus t2. So t1 to our is 0.3 second if I am not wrong. So t2 to our ahi will 1.414 second. So your total time t would be given by t1 plus t2. That is how you get the total time. Now, in the last part of the question, you are asked what is the velocity with which it hits the ground, and the final velocity with which the ball hits the ground. So, I mean, we need to use the equation for V. So, V to So, the equation for V is given by V equals to U plus GT. Why plus? Because we are considering the downward motion of the journey. So, U to kiman U to zero over because downward motion of the initial velocity to zero. So, V to directly from GT. G would be 10. But what would be this T? Since our final velocity lag and we are concerning about the downward motion, so our to zoom to time over that time is nothing but T2. So that T2 is nothing but 1.414. So if you multiply this with 1.414, so you will get it as 14.14 meter per second. So this is the final velocity with which the ball will hit.